The dark circle is just, they just have a way of popping up. Uninvited. I don't want you here. Get off my face. Hello everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name's Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. Ugh, I felt a twitch in my shoulder. That was weird, sorry y'all. This video is so overdue. I feel like lately I've just been making a bunch of videos that I should have made like two years ago, but just haven't. Boo me, some content creator I am. I want to talk about a topic that I have had many changes of opinions on throughout the years, but I finally collected my thoughts on them. Are eye creams actually worth it? This is a very controversial topic in the skincare world because you have so many people who think that eye creams are definitely worth it, that think it's a necessary part of the routine, that you should buy multiple eye creams, and then you have the complete opposite side that says eye creams are never worth it. You don't need to buy an eye cream. It's a waste of money. You're throwing your money down the drain. And I want to tell you guys my own thoughts, what I think if eye creams are actually worth it and talk about some products as well. Because in my opinion, when it comes to eye creams, it's really <sighs> kind of complicated. And I think it really depends on what you're personally trying to treat, what you want your skincare routine to look like. But yeah, let's get into it. I've seen so many different opinions out there and my stance on eye cream has kind of shifted and evolved over the years. But for some reason, I've noticed that a lot of people think that I do not believe in eye creams whatsoever. I don't know how that got around because I've personally used eye creams for years. I've always been someone who's very skeptical of eye creams while simultaneously purchasing and using some eye creams for myself. I think there's a little bit of balance, let me explain. So at one point in time, I used to work in cosmetic sales and I would see a lot of companies have these eye creams that were like $150 to $300 each, talking about how their product was scientifically developed for the under eye area because your under eyes aren't able to receive ingredients in the same way that your face does, that the ingredients have to be small smaller from a molecular level in order to be received by the under eye area, like all this crazy stuff. There's just really no data to show that. However, the under eye area tends to be the most sensitive part of people's face. And so sometimes using your typical face products on your under eye area can risk the potential of irritation, sensitivity, milia, which is where you get those little bumps on your under eye area, just a whole bunch of issues because your face products are way too strong and concentrated to be used on the under eye area. And that is where I think there's nuance when it comes to the eye cream conversation. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys out there are like, wait, but I want to treat the dark circles under my eyes. I want to treat the premature aging. What am I supposed to do? And I'll break it down by concern and whether or not I think an eye cream is best suited for you. When it comes to a dry under eye area where you notice flaky skin, I personally don't believe that an eye cream is necessary. I think if that's your primary concern, you can get way more benefit by just using a rich moisturizer or a really hydrating serum that can simultaneously be used across your face as well as on your under area. Under area? <laughs> what? Basically, you can get more bang for your buck by using a product that can be used in both areas. Now, how about premature aging? Yes, those lines on our under eye area that sometimes show up a little bit early that we're wanting to treat. I think when it comes to premature aging, it really depends. You can use the best ingredient out there for aging, retinol, which is gonna be amazing for really undoing that premature damage. However, retinol products tend to be really strong and very concentrated. And also it's one of the ingredients that has the highest potential for skin sensitivity and skin irritation. And then the main concern I see all over the internet, all over my comment sections and my DMs, treating dark circles. And this is where I think you can really get the biggest benefit from an eye cream. Some of us, myself included, struggle with dark circles. I personally struggle with dark circles pretty frequently because first of all, I'm getting older. It's a natural part of getting older, but more intensely, I notice them pop up whenever I'm not getting enough sleep, when I'm going through a lot of life stress. The dark circles just, they just have a way of popping up. Uninvited, I don't want you here. Get off my face. And using a brightening eye cream that has ingredients like vitamin C can be really beneficial for the under eye area, primarily because for a lot of people, they want to treat the darkness on their under eye area, but aren't really experiencing darkness on the rest of their face. That's definitely Definitely my concern. I don't have the intensity of darkness on the rest of my face as I do on my under eye area. So I really want to get those benefits, but I don't necessarily need the strength and the power of a face brightening product that's solely dedicated for my eyes. And a lot of brightening face serums for the face can be very concentrated. There's definitely a lot of potential for a reaction, sensitivity, and redness. And that's where I think a vitamin C eye cream or a retinol eye cream can be really beneficial on the under eye area. I want to introduce you guys to some of the eye creams that I've used over the years that I absolutely love. Eye creams I think that are actually worth it. First up, if you're someone who's like, Hiram, I want to use an eye cream, but I don't need any super concentrated or super powerful ingredients. I just want something really simple. That's not expensive. I think a great introductory eye cream is the CeraVe Eye Repair Cream. One of the reasons I love this one is because first off, it's like $13, so definitely not a bad price. Of course, fragrance free, but this primarily has niacinamide, which is a great ingredient for not only helping with the barrier health of the skin, but also helping to fade hyperpigmentation and dark spots in the skin. Is it the most powerful brightening agent out there? No, but it's a great introductory one 
one, especially for someone who's younger, someone who's just starting a skincare routine or someone who doesn't need super concentrated ingredients. This one's a great one to use. You can find it at pretty much any drugstore out there. An awesome one to start. Ula Henriksen, and I just want to make an apology real quick for mispronouncing their name. Literally since the beginning of my channel, it's pronounced Ula, not Ole. I'm so sorry. And their new product that I've been testing out since February, the Banana Bright Plus Eye Cream. So this eye cream, first off, is formulated with gold complexed ascorbic acid. Let me explain what that means. Ascorbic acid is the purest form of vitamin C that has the most research and data behind it in its effectiveness to fade dark spots, brighten dark circles, and just fade hyperpigmentation overall. It's encapsulated in gold, but solely used in a way that protects the ascorbic acid from going bad while still being able to be delivered into your skin and you see the positive benefits. But another reason I love this one, in addition to it being fragrance free and vegan, instead of relying on traditional dyes or mica, it actually uses banana powder pigment to give it this yellow color correcting tint. When it comes to an eye cream, I've always struggled finding the perfect balance between a skincare product and a makeup product. There are so many eye creams out there that are effective, but don't have any tint to it to give like an instant color correction effect. But at the same time, I really don't like wearing concealer and this eye cream is awesome because with that yellow tint, it ever so slightly gives that corrected appearance to the under eye area. One of the eye creams I've used for a really long time is the Versed Brightening Eye Gel. I have relied on this one for, pff, I think probably a year and a half to help with my dark circles. It's a very simple but effective formula. You can find it at Target. I loved Versed in their products. This one has vitamin C and ginseng root extract. And I like that it's in a gel consistency that's not super heavy on the skin. If you are someone who doesn't want a lot of moisture on the under eye area. I used to regularly use this every morning and every night and I still somewhat use it. But over time, my dark circles, I think as I've just been getting older, my dark circles have been harder and harder to get rid of. And after a certain amount of time, I was like, you know what? This just isn't doing what it used to do for me. So I've kind of graduated from this one, but still an awesome product to use. Now this next product is a little bit crazy and I know it sounds really intense, but I personally have never used an eye cream that has been this powerful, this effective, and just absolutely incredible at removing my dark circles. It's the Peter Thomas Roth Potency Eye Cream. This one is chock full of really concentrated brightening agents. And for me, definitely delivers the fastest results. I don't even use it every night. I think I use it like three times a week. However, it is 68. Oh, I remember when I purchased this one, I was like, Hiram, what are you doing? This is crazy. This is so expensive. And by no means am I saying that you need this product. Absolutely not. However, it is one that I have fallen in love with and definitely love using. And if you're someone who really doesn't care as much about budget and you're wanting something super, super powerful, I do recommend this one. But again, no need to spend that much. This is like, I think the most I've ever spent on a skincare product. Yeah, I think so. I really didn't want to love this one, but I just have to be honest, it's so good. <laughs> and then finally, if you're someone who wants to use the benefits of retinol for the under eye area, because retinol can be beneficial not only for premature aging, but also fading darkness. Honestly, I recommend the Inky List Retinol Eye Cream. It's a very simple formula with a gentle concentration of retinol that works well for the under eye area. It gives you the results, but because of the Inky List, you don't have to spend a ton of money on a product. It's really well priced and definitely a good simple formula to use. Now, if you are in the camp of someone who's like, uh, I don't want to buy an eye cream, I don't need to use it. I'm just going to use a face product on my under eye area. If you are someone who wants to use the benefits of retinol, I really recommend going for the gentlest retinol product you can find out there. The one I recommend is the Selfless by Hiram Retinol and Rainbow Algae Repair Serum, primarily because it is the most gentle retinol formula I've seen on the market, which is why I do think it works well for the under eye area. I've used it in the past, never noticed any irritation. I am very skeptical using retinol products on your eye area because most retinols out there are just very, very strong. But because this one's really gentle, it's also nourishing because of the squalene in it. It's a good option if you're wanting to use something that you already use on your face on your under eye area as well. And then if you are someone who's just like, Hiram, I just want to use a face cream, make sure that my eyes are hydrated. Honestly, I recommend using the Skin Fix Barrier Peptide Cream. This is one of the best moisturizers I've ever used. I use it every single night. It does such an incredible job of really deeply moisturizing the skin. And whenever I feel like my under eyes are a little bit dry, I'm wanting to boost the moisture and the hydration. I always go in with this one because it has that really rich consistency that works and it's extremely effective. There's a why I mentioned this in almost every single video on my YouTube channel, it really, really is that good. Let me point out though, in my opinion, when it comes to eye creams, the biggest scam out there. Every time I see this, I'm just like, oh boy, what are we doing? Why are we doing this? This is a waste of money. A moisturizer and an eye cream that come from the same line that literally have the exact same formula or almost the same formula. I notice this happening a lot with very luxury skincare brands. They'll have their popular or best-selling moisturizer and then they release an eye cream with the same name, except it's dedicated for the eyes and you 
look at the ingredient list and it's literally exactly the same as the moisturizer. I get so annoyed when I see that because I'm like, why would you not just buy the moisturizer and use it on your under eye area? Especially because the majority of times I see this, it's always just eye creams treating moisture and hydration. Girl, you can use a face product. You do not need to spend $150 on this eye cream. That is an exact duplicate of the face cream. Speaking of which, price point is a big factor when it comes to making a decision whether or not to use eye cream. And for that, like I think with all skincare products, it really comes down to how much you're willing to spend on a skincare product. Unless it's a very unique product, like something that's really powerful in treating dark circles or premature aging that has a really impressive ingredient list, I honestly recommend to keep the price point as low as you can. I personally don't believe that there's any reason to spend over $100 on eye cream. Like that, that's wild, bro. I'm not doing that, I'm sorry. So overall, are eye creams actually worth it? Like I said before, it really depends on what you're trying to treat. And I personally believe that if you're treating more severe damage, like intense dark circles or premature aging, that's where an eye cream can be beneficial if it's something that you're wanting to introduce into your routine. But for the rest of the concerns, at the end of the day, it's just another product you can add into your routine if you're wanting an extra experience or if you're wanting to feel luxurious. I'd say overall, if you're a skincare minimalist and you wanna keep your skincare routine really simple, you don't absolutely need an eye cream, but it can be really nice to use. And oh man, and that sums it up for my thoughts on eye creams. Wow, this was long-winded, but honestly, over the years learning so much about eye creams, I felt like I had so much to share in this video. So if you're still here, thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in getting any of the products that I've mentioned, they will all be linked in the description box below. Let me know your guys' thoughts below in the comment section. Do you think eye creams are worth it? Do you think they're a scam? Let me know. I know there are so many different opinions out there, but these are my personal thoughts. Honestly, just don't go crazy. And if you do want to use an eye cream, the ones I've mentioned in this video have really, really been life-changing for me. And I'm very glad that I do use an eye cream in my skincare routine, but I am selective. And if you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and to the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. And I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah.